Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, guys. If you want to try Google's new VR, the Daydream, uh, which runs on Android N, you can actually do it right now. I've been actually playing with it for a few hours. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at it, and I'll show you how to install it. Let's go do this, baby. Hi guys, so this is the VR demo, and uh, if I go ahead and use my uh, control emulator, and then I can go ahead and draw stuff, all right, uh, in a 360 degree environment. So this controller um, is basically your controller. Now compared to something like Vive VR, which requires a lot of sensors to place, uh, this is actually pretty amazing. And let me go ahead and draw something for you guys real quick here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and draw Odie. All right, here we go. Oops, sorry. I'm going to have to draw Garfield here. All right, the controls are all right. I mean, the, it's, it does need a little bit more work. Obviously, I'm not even using a controller. This is an emulator. Um, but for what it is, it's actually not bad, I would say. It's actually pretty accurate. Now, I am running this on the Nexus 5X. It's supposed to be only for the 6P, um, but I don't see any lags or anything like that. It actually runs pretty good. Just hard to, hard to use a controller because this is an emulator. Um, that's actually not a phone. All right, so there's my OD running on Nexus 5X hardware. This is pretty amazing. Um, you are able to do, I uh, have a controller, uh, which sort of act as an input. Wow. Let me just draw some spirals here. All right, more spirals here. <laughs> All right, maybe behind me, I'm gonna go ahead and draw. Hi. Oh, well, I'm just gonna do that. And check that out, not bad for um, VR that's running on my Nexus 5X. All right, I'm gonna show you how to install it. Um, the first thing you will need to do is obviously install uh, the Android and Preview 3 or newer. Uh, Preview 2 or lower does not work. I've already tried it, so don't even try. All right, once you've got Preview 3 installed like I did, for some reason I couldn't install it on the 6P because uh, my 6P kept um, rebooting. It was in a boot loop for like a couple of days. So this is not supposed to work on other phones, um, Google said, but uh, it actually works just fine on my Nexus uh, 6P. So that's actually kind of cool. So it should actually work on any Nexus device uh, running the latest Android and Preview 3, including Nexus 6, uh, probably Nexus 5, maybe even Nexus 4. All right, um, the first thing you want to do is go into settings, right? Um, go into about phone and go ahead and hit the build number a bunch of times until it says um, you're now a developer. All right, go hit the back button, go to developer options, make sure USB debugging is checked on like that. All right, that's all you need to do. Um, next, what you'll need to do is download the APK file. I'll have the links um, where you can download it. Go ahead and download ES File Explorer and go ahead and download this file. Uh, it's called controllerpaint.apk. This is actual VR application. So go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and hit install. Uh, and click on install. I've already installed it. You may have to allow unknown sources on, so make sure you do that and then try to reinstall it. Now try to use the ES File Explorer uh, because if you try to install it straight from the browser, it will fail for some reason on Android end. Now once you've got this controller paint uh, installed, go ahead and reboot your phone, all right? All right, let's pretend my phone rebooted. Next, what you wanna do is go into settings, go into apps, right? Go ahead and click this button and then click on show system, all right? And you're gonna go ahead and go down to, you can go all the way down to Google VR services, all right? Go ahead and click on that and go into permissions. Make sure camera location and storage is checked on just like that. All right, after that's done, go ahead and hit this settings button uh, and then go ahead and go down to special access, all right? And go to do not disturb access. Make sure Google VR services is checked on. Next, go to VR helper services. Make sure Google VR services is checked on there. And also go to notification access and make sure Google VR services is checked on. 
All right, also make sure Bluetooth is set to on. Um, just because this app requires Bluetooth to be on, even though it doesn't actually use Bluetooth. Also, make sure your location is on on high accuracy. You'll have to do that to make sure the app runs correctly. All right, next, you're going to have to reboot your phone. So go ahead and reboot it All right, before you go. Now, once your phone has rebooted, um, you're going to have to set up a separate phone for an emulator. So I've got uh, my Galaxy Note 5. Any Android device will do. This does not require root. Um, so go ahead, also download um, ES File Explorer here, all right, or any kind of file manager. I'm going to go ahead and just show you with my files here. And if you go ahead and down, go ahead and download the controller emulator.apk. This is the emulator APK. Um, go ahead and do the same thing. You may have to go to settings, check unknown sources, and install it. I've already installed it, um, so I don't have to do this. Um, so that is the application there. Now, next, you'll have to set up your phone as a hotspot, a Wi-Fi hotspot. So turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot on your controller phone, not the one you're going to use as VR, but the one you're going to use on as a controller. So I've got it set up. I've got a uh, hotspot set up. Yeah, let me show you real quick. Go to your hotspot. Um, mobile hotspot is checked on there and then go back to your main phone and then connect it to it, uh, connect to it. So I've got it connected to my Note 5, as you can see there. Next, what you're going to do is go ahead and launch uh, this controller app. And next, go into settings here and go to setup and make sure uh, enable emulator controller is checked on. All right. And set it there. And next, you're going to go ahead and turn on the control controller emulator all right you'll say waiting for connection if you have a Wi-Fi hotspot that's connected from this phone to here it should connect after a few seconds you'll see that connected all right now you can test this out it's hard to show you here um, now now you'll see a cursor ah, there we go I, I just got to get it under here you see the cursor as my phone moves around uh, that cursor fo cursor follows me so if you do like a double tap and hold it oops let's try that again double tap and hold it it will start drawing and you can go ahead and put um, your actual VR glasses on and start drawing stuff once you get to this point you'll be able to try Google's uh, VR experimentation with a controller with an emulator with your other phone um, so that's how you do it <laughs> so long as you have a Nexus device that you can update to the Android and preview 3 and you have an extra Android phone I mean, you can actually experience this. Of course, having a cardboard VR also helps. So if you have one of these around, there's also a bunch of knockoffs you can get uh, with actual strap on it. You can get it on Amazon. I'll try to find some links for you guys. But that's pretty much it. If you wanted to try Daydream today, the experimental version, um, you can go ahead and follow these instructions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Instagram, Periscope. And as always, stay. <laughs> Subscribe!